So I recently picked up a textured sheet, an off-brand one from Amazon. I think I paid like 17-ish dollars for it, dual-sided one. And uh, one of the things that I sort of knew about is uh, that the printer wouldn't recognize it. And that's a simple fix. Somebody on Printables has the QR code things and you can just print them out and then uh, attach them or tape them, I don't know, glue them to this side and then the printer will recognize it. Well, one of the things, an issue, another issue I ran into is the, uh, this board's a little bit thicker and this one's a little bit thinner, but when it would go to its homing sequence, it would always, the nozzle would always be super far away and it would never leave a good print. It would actually just, it wouldn't even stick to the surface and people were like, use glue. And I was like, it's not even close at all. I need to adjust the Z. And there is like these tiny little thumb screws down here, but you're not supposed to use them. There's also one in the back. But after doing some research, looking on some forms, I found a post and uh, this is what I found. I can actually adjust the Z axis. And here is one of the standoffs that I was doing. This was a test last night. Not the prettiest. That says 45 degree vertical motherboard stand. And uh, there's, there's some gaps. I wish I could get a little bit closer. There's some gaps in the uh, first layer there. It printed okay, it's stuck. And this, I changed the, the G code, the Z axis after it's done homing to, its default is negative 0 0.04 and I changed it to uh, zero. And then I got this print. And this is just finished. You can see, you can see the text a little bit more clear and the first layer is stuck a little bit together more. Well, so I'm here in bamboo and I'm gonna go to prepare. And then you can see I got this reduced purge so it doesn't waste so much and then the textured sheet. So you click the uh, edit preset, go to your machine G code, and then in the uh, very first one here, scroll down to about midway until you find something that says texture. Here you go. And I'm about midway right here uh lower the nozzle homing yeah, yeah if bed type textured which i have it right there we have g29.1 z negative blah, blah, blah. so i this was defaulted to 0.4 and then i did and then i actually went lower but that moves the bed away from it so I was at zero, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 0.3. And then we're gonna go up here and click save. Hit okay. And I'm gonna exit, I'm gonna re-slice this. I'm gonna send it over to the printer and we're gonna take a look at how the bottom of that looks with a positive uh, Z axis. All right, it's been printing for a little bit. Let's cancel this. Stop. Yes. There we go. I can always tell if it's good because how hard it is to uh, take this off. You can barely even see that. It looks good, but let's see how this looks. Now what I really like about this textured is the items come off way easier than the uh, smooth steel sheet. Like, those are really difficult to get off. Let's compare. I think the text is more readable. That was something like with uh, my uh, Prusas there. Oh, these don't have text on. But you can kind of see that texture is really, would you say baked in, smushed into the uh, filament there. And so you can barely even see layer lines. But with like these old ones, good luck trying to read that and whatnot. That looks, that doesn't look good. So this is at what, point two did I say? That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. I like that. This gives me a lot of confidence. And if I add these QR codes to it, Bamboo's not gonna know the difference. It's not gonna alert me every single time that there's a different different sheet. The sheet doesn't match up. And I also use some hairspray just in case if I'm printing really tall objects. I might go up like another point zero one. So yeah, that's how you um, change your Z offset. 
there's no uh, manual adjustment while you're doing the printer. You have to do it from the G-code standpoint. Anyway, hopefully that helped you, and thank you so much for watching.